closely guarded secret for more than a year. An atomic blast set off on the lonely atoll of Eniwetok, 4,500 miles out in the Pacific, is released to the public to show the devastating effects of the bomb on fighting equipment and all types of buildings. The carefully controlled test was months in the planning by the Atomic Energy Commission and the armed forces. Obsolete tanks become guinea pigs for the occasion, as well as buildings specially reinforced to simulate in Almost every type of modern construction takes its place in the most comprehensive test ever conducted to discover for purposes of civilian defense the total effect of the portions of discarded Meanwhile, on adjacent Parry Island, scientists of the Atomic Commission carefully check their instruments before the moment of detonation. And the moment is approaching as the seconds tick off. Every electronic control device is functioning smoothly, and the cataclysmic moment is here, a dress rehearsal of a possible future. Term the experiment an entire success, a success in destruction. As the smoke rises on any we talk, the curtain rises on the seeds of man's oblivion. Weighty matters are on the agenda in New York where a spectator holds her breath and Olympic hopefuls compete for a berth on the United States weightlifting team. Heading the list of selections in the heavyweight division is John Davis of Brooklyn. He's undefeated in world competition, and that includes the last Olympic Games for the past 14 years. Also on the agenda, the Mr. America contest, with 35 husky he-men competing for the right to be known as the possessor of the most manly physique in all the land. Selection is made on the basis of symmetry and proportions, muscular development, general appearance, and posing. No comment. We'll leave it to the girls. When he turns around, you'll be looking at Mr. America face to face. The mighty mark of muscle is James Park of Chicago, Illinois. Looking at Mr. America makes me wish I'd kept up with my dumbbells. <laughs> 